Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Scare Soldier back with another Borderlands 3 video and in today's video we got the hyper focus on our list of weapons that we need to try out because this gun has received a buff. Now the hyper focus was a really good gun and became a popular weapon once gearbox buffed it and people were starting to go crazy on grave ward with it now when the gun first came out it wasn't that good but of course after they buffed it it became a popular weapon but then again gearbox didn't scale this weapon right away once they released mayhem 10 so a lot of people put this gun to the side but recently they gave this gun some more damage so what we're going to do today is test this weapon out so without further ado guys we're going to go ahead and look at the stats for you guys real quick so we have 5094 damage which is very high for a SMG. The accuracy is one of the best things about this weapon because this thing has absolutely no recoil. You can shoot this thing from the hip and it will not move. So critical hits are very easy to deal with. And the handling is also above average compared to most weapons. The reload time is 2.9 seconds. Fire rate is 7.99 seconds, which is medium high type of fire rate. And then mag size at 35, which is actually really good. And we have the kinetic version of this weapon with while under 50% held, deal 150 percent bonus radiation damage we don't have this enormous specifically for any reason it's just this is the one we have so this is what we're going to use just to give you also a little bit of an idea of how high this damage is um, if you look at the redistributor for a second this one has 2615 damage um, and this one has double that and also if you want to look at the smog which is also another hyperion smg the smog is about around 5,000 damage as well, and the smog is actually a strong weapon at the moment. It's just missing some fire rate, but anyways, that's another topic. But you guys can see that the hyper focus fares well as one of the top tier damage is for Hyperion SMGs. Now, if you guys were interested in farming the gun yourself, you have to come over to the Atlas HQ, and you're gonna come right to this checkpoint over here where you're gonna battle the Power Troopers. Now, for this gameplay, we're gonna be using Zane because Zane is great with you know, like things like Hyperion SMGs, like the Redistributor for one, and the Hyper Focus, of course. Um, and we're also gonna tie that in with some more damage for that weapon. We're using Hyperion Weapon Critical Damage, SMG damage and weapon damage to really give this gun a good edge versus our gunfights. And that's pretty much that. For the build also quickly, I thought I mentioned that we're gonna be using Pain Zane slash Hybrid Zane build. These are on my channel if you guys wanna use those builds. And that's what we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna go check you guys out at some gameplay. So I'll see you over there. All right, guys, so to start off the gameplay, we're going to be going against Grave Ward. Traditionally, this is where the beauty of this gun took place when it was initially buffed before it was pretty much kind of unbuffed in a way because it wasn't scaled, but now it pretty much scales quite well, um, is everybody was demolishing Grave Ward with this gun because of the way the projectiles kind of ricochet outwards um, or horizontally for that matter, and they absolutely destroy Grave Ward because he's such a big target. But you guys are seeing how much damage we're doing already. Keep in mind, this is an SMG, so it's not going to be one-shotting enemies. And also, this thing is radiation with our anointment. So again, we would ideally want this in fire to do even more damage. But for the most part, honestly, we're doing extremely good job of demolishing Grave Ward, which is really a good sign for the future of this gameplay. So we're going to also test this on mobs. Now, one of the main things that I love about this weapon as well is the accuracy. The accuracy is next to none, guys. You don't even have to ADS with this weapon whatsoever. You can just hit fire this thing and get critical hits like you saw against Grave Ward. And like you're about to see right now versus these mobs, um, we're just going to be aiming for the head. And we're going to be successfully getting a lot of damage every single time. Now, my biggest advice to maximize the damage on the gun, although it can be a little bit difficult, is to try to get enemies who are close to walls or objects because those ricochets are obviously going to bounce back right towards the enemy again and give you that double effect damage or that one shot feel because you're going to be killing them so fast out in the open obviously you guys are watching right now this gun is still slapping enemies with ease and overall this gun is a well-rounded weapon the fire rate isn't too low nor is it too high the mag size is very very average it's not too low or too high it has very good damage like you guys saw it has more than the redistributor by double and it actually compares close to where the smog's damage is at 
and overall you guys can do pretty much anything you want with this weapon now i wish i had this weapon with a corrosive anointment because then i would have been able to do a lot more damage versus wotan essentially i was using radiation versus armor and radiation as an element is very good against shield and health bar but it is horrible against armor and unfortunately wotan's health is all armor so we weren't able to maximize the damage against him like i said because i didn't have corrosive but you guys still see that we were able to kill wotan with ease especially with my build and everything the way it's set up the hyper focus guys i can tell you is a gun worth farming if you guys want to add a new gun to your arsenal or your inventory this is definitely a cool gun to have so go ahead farm this weapon if you guys like the video smash the like button for your boy do not forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one it's your boy scare soldier signing out peace